gosh, this feels so weird to say. So Felicia at her highest self, like the person that I want to be, I want to be able to freely afford healthy, organic, natural, clean food and not have to worry about the cost. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, October 23rd, and I would like to share with you guys my current grocery haul. So I do wanna tell you guys that, you know, I've been doing intermittent fasting. Wait a minute, let's look at this cute outfit today. Yes, okay, so uh, you guys know I've been doing intermittent fasting. Well, now my husband has also jumped on board. So I do wanna share with you guys that we have been saving so much money on our grocery bill um, and full transparency. Wait, let's sit the camera down for a minute. We have been saving so much money on our grocery bill. And see, we usually budget around $200 per week for groceries, but we have been able to cut that significantly. And like over the last, I'll say, gosh, how long have I been fasting? Like seven weeks, eight weeks, eight weeks, I believe. We've saved so much money. And to be honest with you guys, I bought myself a new work bag, which I'll show you guys in a later video. Um, and then also for our vacation for next year because we plan out all of our vacations the year before. My husband and I for our um, anniversary cruise that we booked. I just kind of like wanted to save money and like just do like an interior room or just an ocean view. But he like would not give up on the fact that he wanted a balcony. So it cost us an extra $500. But I'm really happy to say that we were actually able to use money that we have saved from our groceries to upgrade to a balcony sized room. So moving forward for next year, I actually sat down and I was like, okay, do I decrease the budget? Do I leave the budget where it is? And for now, I've decided to leave it where it is, but we will be saving that money or the other option is possibly upgrading, as you'll see in today's video, like just upgrading the quality of our food. I'm not sure, like I actually went grocery shopping to what I consider to be the bougie grocery store, <laughs> Publix. It's actually the store where I shopped before I even thought about a budget, like when I was using my credit cards and just, you know, paying the minimum monthly balance. But I really love, if you guys are familiar with Publix here in Florida, the stores are just so clean and it's kind of like, it has like the Whole Foods vibe but i really enjoyed being able to go there today and just buy whatever i wanted and now for the next three weeks i will be doing omad which is where you basically eat one meal a day but don't don't be confused i'll share with you guys what i eat it's not just one meal like i eat for about 30 to 45 minutes of whatever it is that I want, but I'll share all of that with you later. But I do wanna share with you the things that I picked up today. So first thing we have here are some chicken thighs, and these were $11.66. And at the other grocery store at Winn-Dixie, sometimes you can do like buy one, get one, but I don't know what they had on sale this week because I didn't go there. And then I got these chicken breasts. I got these because they were individually wrapped and they were also on sale for like $8.99, I believe. Um, so that if I just wanted to take out like one or two, then I can cook them that way. And then I picked up some trout um, for $12.86. Just a different type of fish other than the salmon that I always eat. Um, what I'm trying to do is like bring in more what I'm really trying to do is bring in more variety into my diet especially considering if I'm mainly eating like one main meal a day I want to be sure that I'm getting lots of nutrients and vitamins from different sources of um, plants proteins and so forth so here I have some dried some organic dried cranberries I have some cauliflower rice I have plans to do a stir fry with these so I'm really looking forward to that and some cucumbers, these were 89 cents each. These were like $3 and something. Uh, red onion, um, some spring salad mix there. And then we've got some raspberries. These were actually on sale for 99 cents each. I thought that was great. And then some kiwi, these were five for four. Um, and then some avocado, which were, I believe four for five maybe. And then tomatoes, some cilantro, 
um, some peppers and what is this thing called? Cantaloupe. This was $3.99. These were more than what they usually are at my other store. I believe they were like $4 and something. And then I got some kale greens. I want to steam these um, and like just, you know, have like additional greens for the week. And then you guys, well, I'll come back to the Ezekiel bread. But we also got some organic coffee, K-cups, and uh, just regular ground coffee. Some carrots for my salads. Oh, also Brussels sprouts. Um, watermelon. This was like $4. Um, and then I looked for that cheese that I mentioned in the cookbook. I'll actually insert it here. You guys, you're not gonna believe how expensive that cheese was. I told you that cookbook is for rich people, which by the way, I am sending it back. So let me just put in here how much how much that cheese. Yeah, can you believe cheese costs that much money? I couldn't, I couldn't do it, sorry. But I did find this cheese and it was buy one, get one I believe, or maybe two for four, something to that sort. So this is the habanero cheese. I've had that before and I really enjoyed it. And then this is just um, some extra sharp cheese. I think these may have been buy one, get one or some type of deal because this brand was on sale. So just some regular um, shredded cheddar cheese for kids like eggs and you know, all of that stuff. And then broccoli for the stir fry and also to eat roasted. And then I checked every single ketchup every single one not even exaggerating and they all have some form of sugar this one has cane sugar but i did appreciate the fact that it was listed like almost towards the end but this was like the best one there was one that has stevia in it um i don't know if that would have been a better buy or not I don't know. I think I was just trying to go for like, I really wanted no sugar, but the one that said no sugar added has stevia added. So I'm like, that's still, I don't know. But this is what we got. And then this Simply 60, like a 60 calorie um, Caesar dressing. I got two of those because I think they were like two for four or two for six or something. Hot sauce, this chili sauce. Um, I got this soy sauce, less sodium for the cauliflower, cauliflower rice stir fry that I want to make. Um, have you guys had these before? Cotton candy grapes. Oh my gosh, I love these things so much. They're just so sweet and yummy. It's just like a nice, sweet treat. Um, and then I got these tangerines. And I think that's it other than I wanted to talk to you guys about these potatoes. So you guys know, let's flip this around. So you guys know that I have been having a little bit of a struggle with, it's not even a struggle. I won't, even, I won't call it a struggle. But I've been trying to watch my carbs, but then I end up, like if I'm out, like I end up buying carby food. So this week, guys, I actually went ahead and purchased some potatoes. And I'm going to allow myself to have one potato per day, um, whether it be in the form of like if I make fries or have a baked potato or some type of potato. If I want it, it's here. I have it at home. And I can make it for myself so we're doing that and then also I picked up this Ezekiel bread because you guys know I don't eat flour but the Ezekiel bread is flourless like there's no flour in it um so I have that too in case I decide that I want like something crunchy because it's the crunch that gets me and I think even with chips like it's that crunchiness so what I'll do is I'll toast um some Ezekiel bread and then I'll probably use like cream cheese or peanut butter or something like that and just put on there and for this week I want to see if that kind of like helps me with you know just wanting that crunchy stuff <laughs> I don't know we'll see but I'm just thinking that um it has to be better to be able to just eat something like from home instead of going out and getting like 
McDonald's fries or stuff like that, which I'm not judging myself for it. I'm just trying to look for like a better alternative because in the end, my goal really is to eat clean. Like you guys know, I want to live to be 105. So let me find the receipt for this stuff. All right, so I spent, I ended up spending $174.39 and that was without like any, like no coupons, no special deals or anything like that other than like what was present and available in the store. So I don't know, like gosh, this feels so weird to say. So Felicia at her highest self, like the person that I want to be, I want to be able to freely afford healthy, organic, natural, clean food and not have to worry about the cost. So I'll be honest with you guys, there's a part of me that's like, that still has like that frugal mindset to where it's like, I want to, um, like save money, like part of me feels like, okay, so I splurge this week and maybe next week I'll go shop at Aldi's or like somewhere else, which I still may do and try to get clean, um, clean food. But then there's also this version of myself that I feel, um, you know, the woman that I wanna be, um, where I know that in the end, so like even if I save money today on food, because I work in healthcare and because I'm a health coach now and I know that, this is hard for me to say, I know that at some point we pay for it. So either we pay for a better quality of food up front or we pay for it on the back end with medications or other health conditions or I don't know, like I'm not saying that if you don't buy organic food or if you don't buy, you know, that's that's not what I'm saying. Like what I'm saying is that we owe it to ourselves to be able to eat as clean, like whole foods and as clean as we possibly can. And I don't get it right every time either, but um, yeah, that's kind of where my head is right now. So what I'm kind of thinking is like, since we no longer eat the quantity of food, like the amount of food that we used to eat, because like I said, both my husband and I are doing intermittent fasting. And to be very honest with you guys, our kids typically do not like desire breakfast. I've noticed that as a parent, that's something that I've just kind of like pushed on them a little bit but we've kind of like not been saying things and just kind of like seeing how they do naturally and naturally they don't desire breakfast so as a family we're eating less food so i'm trying to decide i don't know but i'll be sure to let you guys know anyways oh, sorry for going off on this long tangent please don't forget to like share and subscribe i just wanted to share this grocery haul with you guys and let you know where my head was what I'm eating, and I will welcome any comments that you guys have down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.